internet, my name is Joe, I run in Counter Terrain, and uh, a little while ago I stumbled upon something amazing. I stumbled upon a whole bunch of pipe cleaners, uh, they were left over for my son's birthday, and I had just run out of floral wire, so I thought I'm going to try and make a tree out of these. There it is. Super simple pipe cleaner tree armature. No clay needed, no hot glue needed, start to finish. From this to this, in an hour. Let me show you how I did it. Let's get to it. Okay, so this is everything that we are going to need in order to make these trees. I am going to have this, which is our pipe cleaners. These are just Crayola brand. I got this from Poundland. A pair of pliers. This is simply just to cut the pipe cleaners. This is my base coat color. It's just a light gray in general. This is my heat gun. It's essentially a souped up version of a hairdryer. A hairdryer is perfectly acceptable. This, which is my walnut timber stain. I use washers every now and then, but I prefer timber stains uh, just from my background in carpentry. And this is what I'm going to use as well. This is my butane torch. So, this is what we're going to do first. What we're going to do first is going to take out I'm going to take out a big wad. You know, I'll just take them all out. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take them and I'm just going to I'm just going to separate them all a little bit, just because I don't want them all ending in the same place. Just because uh, nature doesn't grow evenly, nature grows however the hell it wants. Okay, now what we're going to do from here is we are going to give a twist. Take it and about. So there's my sort of fist width. We're going to take this at about that width there, and I'm just going to twist this here. So just to bond them together. And by bonding them together, I mean just so that they hold together by themselves. Okay. So, step one. There we are. Just twist them together. That's going to be our trunk, or those are going to be our roots over here. Now I'm going to start to take little groups of about three or four at a time. There's a nice little group there. Take that and twist these. Twist these together just like that. Now I'll take another bunch. Some of them have four, some of them have five, some of them have three. It doesn't make too much difference. Next set. Next ones. Oops, I'll knock the camera about. There we are. Underneath. Super duper simple. Let's keep going. Now I'll just move them out of the way a bit. I'm gonna keep twisting. Now I want my first branches to start over here where these low ones are. So what we want to do is you want to take about four or five of them. I like to take a few and then start to do the exact same thing that you did there with the roots. But when they start to get a bit shorter, where is it? There's one, there's one, there's one. Start to separate them again. There and there. So those ones, those three there can go a bit longer. Okay, now that little bit, I'm just going to poke out, poke out. Same again. Twisty, twisty. Split them up on the ends. Twisty, twisty again. Same for these two. There we go. I'll do one more. Let's see. Okay, now because these are lower branches and I want them to be well, they're going to be obviously at the base of the trees, so I'm going to start to take my pliers and just snip these ones off because I want the branches above these ones to stick out further. So there, let's take these ones here, snip them off, separate them while I hit the camera again. 
Let's separate these ones out. There we are, so there and there. There and there, you know what, that one's actually even too long. I'm gonna cut back the orange one way back to here. There we are, so that will come there. That one there we can make shorter. There we are. Now I want one more, I want one coming th through the middle, so I'm gonna take that one there, that one there, this one here. So these three, I'm going to make a nice little, nice little set of branches at the bottom. These I'm going to snip off shorter. Okay. So now we're at that stage. If it looks a little bit well, hilarious to say the least, then you're along the right tracks. Let's keep twisting the top section out. Yeah, now my tree is only going to be this tall. You can make these as tall or as short as you want. If you want to add more height from this point, just take some extra pipe cleaners and just start to twist them in. That's a bit strange, I'll just snip that off there. There we go. And I'll do the same for these ones. I'm going to create a big fat one with all the rest of this. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to twist those ones together there. Split them out. Twist these ones together here. They can get split. They can get split. Okay, so now we're at this stage, and I'm at the stage here where what I want to do is to start positioning all the different branches and start to make stuff that looks awkward look less awkward. So now I think that this one here is too long, so I'm going to cut that off there. These ones, these are quite nice. I'm just going to split those two there at the end into two separate little roots. That root there. Oh, there's a nice little thing coming off there. I'll leave that. I'll leave them. I'll leave this. Okay, so that's where we are at at the moment. Yep, that sort of looking thing. Now, this, if it looks really strange, then you're along the right lines. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start to. Basically, I'm looking at it from this direction, and I'm basically just going to start taking these and just starting to push them down and uh, bending them a little bit. If you saw my other tree videos, uh, not videos, if you saw my other tree builds, I like to put a big sort of bend in the trunk. I just think it makes it look a little bit, not bonsai-ish, but just a little bit more, just gives it a bit more flavor. This, now, I'm not happy with this. This is too, way too massive. Okay, so there's that, there's that, that one, this. Now, because this root here is a bit big, but I don't want to cut it in half, I'm just going to bend it like that, just to give the illusion that it is half the size that it is. I think I'm pretty pleased with that. So that's where we're at for now. And that has taken so far only about 10 minutes. So now what we are going to do is get this fella. Now, what this is going to do is, this is going to turn all of the little fluffy bits into sort of a hardened, plasticky sort of material, and it's going to bond everything together. It's going to literally make everything stick together. Now, I'm going to try to do this without burning down my house. Okay, so here we have some fire! Now, this fire, as you can see, look at what's going to happen to these branches here at the end. The fire starts to get a bit closer. 
do what it's going to start to do is it's going to start to melt all of the bits together. Now, I've got my extractor fan running behind me. If you don't have one, make sure that you do this outside or at least get a, uh, at least get a face mask. Okay, so that's where we're at now after the flamedness is concerned. Now that is already very, very, very different. You can see it's much thinner. Oop, I'm going to get that part there. But because I've already turned off the blowtorch, I'll just show you how I can do it with a regular little lighter as well. Let me get that in there, see? So that's pretty much the same thing. Just hold it under there. Just let it melt and singe all together. Excellent. Now that there should look fairly different. This I'm going to cut off a little bit shorter because I think it looks a bit strange there. Cool. Look at that big Franken root right there. Get that in there, get that in there. Lovely. Now remember there's no correct way of doing this, so as long as you're happy with the way that it looks, that's all that matters. So this is what your tree should start to look like. It should start to look something like this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to prime it in this light grey, and then I'm going to give it a coat of timber stain, and then we're pretty much there. So let's prime this bad boy light grey. Now, as you are priming this, you will start to see that as parts are drying, the paint is going to start to get absorbed into the pipe cleaners where it hasn't entirely turned into a hard plastic like it has over here. All you have to do is wait for it to dry and then just give it another coat over the top. <laughs> Now that the whole thing has been primed in a grey, we are going to go over the whole thing in... I'm going to go over it in a satin walnut timber stain. You can go over it in any timber stain colour you like. I like using walnut. I like the dark colour to it. The paint has sealed the uh, pipe cleaners or whatever these things are called again. So, this is going to go on exactly the same. Now this whole thing is dry. I've just heat gunned the entire thing. This is going to go on, I like to start at the top, I like to hold it upside down and start at the top because it's easier to paint the top whilst holding the trunk as opposed to the other way around. So, there we are, straight on, nice and thick. We're just going to cover the entire thing. Okay, so that is pretty much it. That is how we took these little pipe cleaners and turned them into this. Now the texture that's on there, everything has just been created purely by the, uh, just purely by the pipe cleaners themselves. That's it. And here's one I did yesterday. I basically just put a little, uh, little base on it. So these could not be easier. You know, what's that? I've taken, I think, what, an hour? An hour or so to make this? And that's from start to finish, including drying times start to finish in about an hour. Now these can be as big or as small as you like until you get uh, as many of them as you want. And so that's how I make pipe cleaner trees. I encourage you to go make as many pipe cleaner trees as you can. And if you do, add me on Instagram and tag me in them. I want to see your work. Look at this. Super special. Now I want to see your ones. See you next time.